It's like a young child coming home. It's a thing that gave us life all these many years. It started well over 10 years ago. Uh, the bison was offered to Black Fruit Crossing. Uh, for some reason, they didn't catch on to that, but luckily, the Drumheller Historical Society reached out to us again, and we gladly accepted their offer. We have the bison skull and then two scapulas here. But again, we have the entire spine and some partial rib cages. When they dug the specimen, they did find a tool embedded in the skull of the bison. It was evidence of early man. These uh, gifts, uh, these remains of the, the buffalo go back to close to 15,000 years ago. But we ventured into the plains probably 11,000, 12,000 years ago. Today's generation lived in a new way of learning, going to school, going to university. But when they hear the oral teachings, they'll say, what does it look like? Where did it happen? And then when you have the remains brought, they can look at them and say, now I can equate that story to what I'm looking at. Visual is so important. The Blackfoot people hold the bison very sacred. He provided pretty much everything we needed to survive. So food, tools, clothing, shelter. So the bison is very significant to the Blackfoot people. We do have every intention on putting it on display and taking care of it properly.